So, how you feeling, big guy? You nervous? I wouldn't say nervous, but you know, I don't do stuff like this normally, so I am kind of. Okay, well, we're doing this on speakerphone, so if you need any help, we'll be jotting down some show you. More like during. suggestions. It's most important for you to handle this in a way that feels comfortable for you. Mila, you know, I really appreciate your support, you know. Yeah. Um, I know, you know, battling it out in the press isn't how you want to go about it. As soon as you made a decision, I was on board. I trust you. Hey, hey, I really and hate to interrupt I'm this here for you, tender always. touching moment, but Nate is waiting on line one right now. Oh. How long has he been on hold? Uh, 20 minutes? What? But I just wanted to make him squirm a little bit. Look, we're giving him a huge scoop. He can wait all day long if you have You guys are so devious, you know that? <laughs> it comes with the package. But look, focus up, man. You ready to do this? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. <clears throat> hey, Nate, I'm here with MP. Great. For a minute, thought that you forgot about me, but uh, MP, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm great, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to setting the record straight. Uh, anonymously. Yes, yes, of course, of course. And as far as uh, readers are concerned, this is coming from a source familiar with the organization's thinking. Is that what we're talking about? Perfect, perfect. Oh, okay, good, good. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, MP, so uh, why don't you start with uh, telling me about Othello's relationship with Freddie Novak? Um, okay, so I haven't really seen them interact with each other much, but from what I understand, Othello is convinced that Freddie is angling for his job. <laughs> wait, wait, so it's not just about the PR initiatives? Nah, I mean, I'm told it goes way beyond that, you know? Mm. Uh, again, you'd have to double check all this, but apparently Othello is paranoid about Freddie's relationship with Phil Boyer, and ever since Freddie was hired uh, to help smooth things over between me and the fans, Othello has been telling people that he thinks he's on his way out. This is good stuff. I mean, is there any truth to it, though? Not as far as I know, but um, Freddie probably wouldn't mention it to me. Uh, but I don't get the sense that he's trying to do something like that. You know, he's a real down-to-earth guy. Um, he knows where his strengths lie and tries to empower those around him. He's just not that kind of person that would try to get a GM fired. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Hmm. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. So has the paranoia showed up in other aspects of Othello's work that you're aware of? Yeah, well, well first of all, he rejects everything he thinks can even remotely connect him to Freddie. Uh, like, Freddie's a big analytics guy when it comes to the marketing segmentation and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And even though he has nothing to do with the basketball analytics department, Othello has completely shut him out in an attempt to undermine Freddie. <laughs> I mean, you gotta excuse me. I just find this, this is so comical, but yeah. let me get straight. Let me, let me just get this straight. So, he's not a fan of teammate grades. Nah, he can't stand them, man. <laughs> Actually, he, he said they're a complete and utter nonsense, you know, but that's just one of the many examples. Uh, you know, he's not gymming from a place of trying to help the team anymore. He's literally trying to save his job. Mm. Uh... This is some pretty explosive stuff, man. Um, but while we're at it, is there anything else I should know about? Um, yeah, at the end of the day, man, Othello Ogpim is a good man who just lost his way. You know, he's worried about his job security. That's why he's making decisions that will cripple the franchise for years to come. You know, he, he wants to give away three first round picks in addition to me for Shep Owens. I mean, why would you do that when I'm at least the same level prospect as Shep? I'll tell you why, because he's paranoid and bitter. You know, and it, and it all started when Phil Boyer overruled him on draft night. Hmm. So he was in favor of Shep all along? Correct. Yep. Yep. Um, but then I started finding success on the court. Uh, Freddie's plan started working off the court as well, and Adela just went off the deep end. And now we're here. You know, he's fighting for everything the organization is trying to do to improve because he feels threatened. You know, and when a guy like Adela feels like his back is against the wall, he lashes out, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. You know, it's, it's unfortunate, but I got nothing against the guy personally. Let me just say that. But he's just not in his right mind at all. And he's got to go before he throws the next 10 years down the drain before 
just to satisfy his own ego. You know, I uh, think that's gonna have to do it for today, Nate. You good? <laughs> uh, I'm more than good. This is what us reporters live for. Um, but I've got to verify all this, of course. Of course. And, um, <laughs> I mean, this is a tremendous scoop. Um, and if I have any questions, I'll reach out. But otherwise, you gentlemen have a great day. Thank you, Nate. Pleasure working with you. <sighs> so how'd I do? How'd you do? Yeah. You crushed that. Don't lie to me, bro. I was so nervous, that man. was great! Mila, Ash, give me something. Not bad at all. I have no complaints. See? Now, we wait. Now, I expect the report to be out in a few days, so until then, yeah. you just do what you do. Ball out. Ball out. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> had this one circled on our calendar for a long time. Two teams that are clicking and great playing great basketball. Oh yeah, and I've been looking forward to this one as well. It's going to be about limiting mistakes because the way these teams are playing, they're jumping on any mistake the opponent makes. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. Tyrese Halliburton is out there with Buddy Heal, and there's Miles Turner, Nick Smith, and it's Duarte in at the small forward position. Well, a lot of distance on that jumper by Darius Garland. Nice. And here is Heal. And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. Smith with a screen on Mitchell. Healed with the bucket. The specialty of Buddy Healed is a three-point shot. You give him an opportunity to respond, and he's going to say, yes, sir. Mitchell passes to Clarkson. And just about a minute into the first quarter, the shot misses. Indiana's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Endorse these Pacers the first full season after the big trade that came last year. Kevin, I think they felt like they had to do something to shake things up. A big drop off in production over the last two years. That was after an extended run of playoff appearances. So what you hope is a guy as young as Tyrese Halliburton with the skill set he has can have an immediate impact and start to raise your trajectory. And so it's Cleveland with it. The Pacers making the shot. Clarkson kicks to Allen. Just five on the clock. For three, Mitchell. And another three for Cleveland. Hey, Jared Allen. We see you making that look for a big man. That's a pretty pass. Pass it to Turner. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. The shot no good by Torchin. Cavaliers have gone two or three here to start out the game. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Here's Duarte. He's covered by Clarkson. Duarte passes to Turner. Here's Halliburton. Pulls up, high post. That one rolling around and runs out. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Mobley sets the pick for Clarkson. Drops in the layup for two. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Stolen by Allen. Inside. There's a minute 47 left to play here in the first. Pass to Halliburton. the bucket on the assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's vision and then the ability to thread the needle there makes the defense pay. You know, most NBA first-round picks are one-and-done guys. 
but but Chris Duarte took a different path starting his collegiate career in junior college. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Turner with a screen on Mitchell. Here's healed. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And Greg, when Chris Duarte got drafted in 2021, he was 24 years old. Okay, how about that, Kevin? The oldest first-round pick in almost 20 years. Duarte showed maturity during his first year. Great defense. Not someone you have to spend a ton of time developing. Here's Halliburton after the made shot from Clarkson. Now the pass to heel. Not loose. Here's Duarte. Shot left block, and the jumper falls for him. Now this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. Garland, the pass to Clarkson. To the paint. Banked in off the glass. And it's six points for MP. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. And he could not get that one to go. And it's out of bounds. The Cavalier is able to retain possession here. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A.? Well, MP in the last matchup against the Mavericks got the job done. He finished with 49 points. And that scoring outburst set a new season high for him. And what became a great exhibition on his part. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it. He took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David and stretches. He was absolutely dominant. Drake, he'd love to match that performance tonight. Yeah, this team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. The four and five are Lovin' Allen. Then it's MP, and it's Mitchell, and it's Neto in at the point guard position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. GA, it wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better in the years to come. Taylor against Clarkson. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Halliburton outside. Turner dishes to heel. Brissett passes to Taylor. Shot clock at six. Out that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut to just five points on the basket from Brissett. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Pacers have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Turner, and it's Turner finishing it off. And this is why Miles Turner is such a high percentage scorer. You combine length, athleticism, and basketball skills. Good luck with that defense. Allen finds love. Here's Clarkson. And that one is off. And Indiana will come the other way. This game against Cleveland is the first time they've met this season. Two division rivals facing off tonight. They'll see one another four times this season. Now, Tyrese Halliburton saying, I'm not just a pure shooter, folks. I've got a little ups in my game. Down low, here's Clarkson. And just miss after miss right now. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Taylor passes to Halliburton. Plays it up off the glass. And that's now seven points for Tyler. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And so in the game for the Pacers, you've got Miles Turner. Halliburton is out there with Heal. And it's Smith, and it's Duarte in at the three. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And putting that pressure on the rim, that's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. 
Well, we know the NBA has worked to get rid of the hard foul goals, and the league has done a great job of doing that. What has contributed, though, to that line of thinking? Well, I think any play can be reviewed, Kevin, and that's a good thing because if it's a non-basketball play, then you open yourself up to a flagrant two. The punishment is significant enough to discourage the action. I love the rule changes as it relates to this particular infraction. Heel, the pass to Smith, and stolen by Mobley. Here's Clarkson. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. 16 points for MP. And this is why guys love playing with Donovan Mitchell. Can he score it? Yes. But he loves to set his teammates up. Two free throws coming. And with young talents like Tyrese Halliburton and Ben Matherin, they already boast some nice building block. Well, a little shaky from the line, and instead of putting them in front, he's only able to tie it up. And foul on the shot, he'll shoot. I mean, you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. A third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Taylor's checked in for heel. Halliburton passes to Orte. Back to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Garland. Stolen by Allen. Clarkson for three. Traps in the tray. Clarkson's got 21 in the game. Here is a guy who is not shy about sharing the basketball. If you are open, Darius Garland will find you. Burton against Garland. Pass to Taylor. Here's Duarte. Halliburton outside. There's three pointers off the mark. And here's Cleveland. They're on an 11 to 1 run right now. Clarkson for three. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got assist number five here tonight. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. And I think they count on him for that. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Left side, Clarkson. Fades and shoots. And again, it's Cleveland. Why has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter? He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Halliburton on the wing. Guarded by Garland. And the Cavaliers with possession. They're on a 16-3 run. Mitchell. And the bucket is good. Three-point play changing. Defensive foul a possession will take that from them today. Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. A different look now for Cleveland. Lopez, he's checked in for Allen. Love comes in for Mobley. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. Indiana also making some changes. Goga Bitadze is checked in for Turner. And it's Brissett in for Jalen Smith. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Great looking back at the 2021 draft. I'm still shocked. Tyrese Halliburton fell to 12. My goodness. What a steal Halliburton has been. He broke his wrist in college. That scared some teams away, but boy, Tyrese has been awesome in the NBA. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Taylor passes to Halliburton. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. They are just killing him on the interior. The Cavaliers leading by seven. To the middle. It's deflected. And they double up MP. Back to Mitchell. Clarkson surveying the floor. Over Taylor. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. 
Halliburton outside. Passes it to be touched. And he slams it one-handed. Well, Tyrese Halliburton has demonstrated terrific improvement running the offense, especially with how he moves the basketball. To the paint, here's Clarkson. Lead pass was put in just the right spot. Clarkson's got 33. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Here's Forte. Knocks down the three ball. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers with a six ball. Smith comes in for Buddy Heal. Halliburton subbed in for Duarte. Cavaliers leading the defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Donovan Mitchell is out there with Darius Garland. And it's Clarkson in at the three spot. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Picks it out to Garland. Here's Clarkson. Over Smith. Here's Mobley. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Mobley meeting the moment with a big shot. That's big time. And some changes here for the Pacers. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Goga Bitadze. Chris Duarte comes in for Jackson. And Heald subbed in for Brissett. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Hey, Kevin, I heard Rick Carlisle during that last break talking with the team. He knows they struggled at the free throw line, but he actually looked at the positive. He said, if we continue to get to the foul line, good things are going to happen. But we have to keep getting there. Maybe that'll take the heat off him. All right, David, thanks. Oh, boy, that's the pick for Clarkson. It's rebounded by Indiana. Smith's got his fifth rebound in this one. Halliburton with it. He's picked up by Mobley. Here's Heal. No good. That would have tied it. And you know they wanted that one to go down. Let's go the time. Fourth quarter. Can we get it done now? No more chances. It counts. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Healed outside. Smith with a screen on Mitchell. Healed from outside. Offensive rebound. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. Well, we know that injury ended Darius Garland's college career right at its infancy. But this guy smartly used his recovery time to focus on getting ready for the NBA. And boy, he's proven he can be a gifted player. Smith sets the pick for heel. Turner for three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Cavaliers get the win here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.